Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace from Midwest Landscaping. www.uniqueenvironments.com Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so whenever I put out fantastic videos like this, you'll be the first one to be able to check them out and put some comments in the comment section. I'm going to do a follow-up um, video here on parkways and uh, ground covers. I did one video earlier concerning uh, um, Diamondia and also concerning Carapia uh, utility ground cover, but I'm going to talk about Lantana right now. This particular flower here, the shrub, is called Lantana, and it comes in a variety of different colors. It's very, very um, beneficial. It's a really great beneficial plant for butterflies and different types of uh, beneficial insects. But we're talking about using it in a parkway situation. This is uh, off the grid here, so to speak. Over here in California Heights, there's a oil pumping station across the street. There's the uh, 405 freeway right here, less than 50 yards from me. And there's uh, a commercial business right down here in the corner. So this is like a cul-de-sac turnaround area. So it's not gonna be a lot of traffic, or a lot of people getting in and out of their cars here. So utilizing this lantana, uh, it's a great idea to have some type of um, filler here in the parkway. It's drought tolerant, water conserving. As you can see, they have some beautiful alloys that are blooming, blossoming right now. A lot of these alloys, they flower during this time of the year, the springtime. And that looks like an um, uh, Australian willow tree right here. The botanical name kind of escapes me right now, but it looks like an Australian willow that's in the parkway also that they have designed in here. And looking over into the middle part of the property, they have some different types of um, drought tolerant and water conserving plants. Some Dodonea along the, along the uh, fence line there. Dodonea hop seed bush. And looks like it has some natal plum in the middle of the uh, planting bed area. But uh, talking back out here in, uh, in the parkway area, they have decomposed granite, which is a great um, alternative instead of using bark or things like that that decomposed granite out here and you can see where this lantana gets pretty big gets pretty thick they have step out areas along here look like somebody borrowed uh, one of those succulents I hate that people come out and they decide it looks good here it looked good in my yard too so somebody like they swiped one but um, this is great for a commercial or a situation like what we have here in my opinion a commercial setting because um, people can still get in and out of their cars if they had to come in and get in and out. The only thing that's uh, kind of interesting about it is that the um, if there was in a residential area, it'd be kind of tough because people getting out of their cars, they would be kind of tight. And it uh, looks like this hasn't been maintained at all. Hasn't been any maintenance done to it, so it's been left to kind of like overgrow itself. It looks nice, but. Um, after a while, it's gonna get really rangy and really thick. And along this freeway here, along this uh, this corridor, you probably have wild animals from the standpoint of anything from coyotes, raccoons, possums, whatever that's gonna be running the ditches along the freeway and also just being in this area, there's coyote that's been known to come up along the LA River, which is not too far away, and just kind of roam around here. But they have rabbits that kind of hide out up under this uh, lantana. So there's one that died right over here. It's probably all on a drip system. It's on a drip irrigation. So um, that's how it's getting this water. But I just want to point out the differences in different types of ground covers that you can use in a parkway area, parkway setting, that could be um, beneficial and useful and practical. Very drought tolerant plant. A beautiful plant comes in a variety of different colors and um, something that is not that hard to maintain as long as you stay on top of it if they don't do it something pretty soon here it's going to be get really rangy and the actual stems and stalks are going to get really thick like what you see right here it'll get really thick and once they start cutting it back it starts looking hacked so it's better to prune a little bit at a time and keep it in shape and that way it has a really nice appearance to itself but there you go Parkway, ground cover, item number two. 
Also, it looks like they have some, um, I can't think of the name of this plant right off the top. It's, it's a Senecio. It's a, it's, a, it's a succulent. I think it's called Senecio Blue Fingers or something like that. But it's a more of a, it's a, a drop tolerant or a succulent. Yeah, here's, here's a bunch of them over here. Senecio. They're pretty um, nice, but not that bulletproof from the standpoint of foot traffic. But like I say, over in this area here, you don't have a lot of a lot of foot traffic and a lot of things going on. So in this kind of a setting, I think it'll work pretty well. Okay, Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping, tips and ideas here on location in California Heights, California. Talking about ground covers. www.uniqueenvironments.com. Sure to hit that subscribe button. Punch that that like button if you don't mind click on that notification bell so whenever you come around and see a notification bell a notification telling you Ed Wallace has a video out there check him out thanks for watching stay tuned for more